Well, the beast has had a uh, technical difficulty that we're trying to resolve right now. Let's go check on Tito and see how he's doing. How's the oil, Tito? Yeah. We're okay on the oil? Well, the hope is that we can still get to the job site to do our meat casino. So, anyway, stay tuned and find out. Well, it's official. The beast has decided to take a break. Fibonacci did the uh, down movement on us today instead of the up movement. Uh, but that's okay. When you're using an old beastly vehicle like this, that does happen from time to time. And it's not really a downer. It's just a time to rest is what the beast says. The belt that drives the fan and I think the power steering has uh, successfully fallen off the van. So we're going to have to have someone bring us a new one. In the meantime, we're going to go work on the Mikasina sign. Friends, here's the, the uh, dilemma that we have. Uh, our Mi Casina sign that we're supposed to fix is right over here. As you can see, that is a cloth or vinyl awning that you cannot work on. You can't see it from here, but the sign is just right above that. The sign's right above there, so uh, we're gonna have to try to get to it. First thing we're gonna do is just test the uh, transformers to make sure that they're working right. What are you doing, Tito? Waiting for you? So it says he's out. waiting for me. I'm waiting for you. I'm here. Good, I like pictures. Picture man. What we're gonna be looking at here is the transformer that's running the M because we think the M is out. We've taped the photo cell and we'll give it a couple minutes to uh, kick on. And then we're gonna check out our transformer to make sure it's a good transformer. Now let's turn, turn the sign on. See if this one comes on. Okay, see we got got us a little bit of a problem. We'll try to put it in test mode and see what happens. It won't go into test mode. So there's a good chance that it's just the transformer. Uh, this is how you test a, a transformer. Neon transformer. At least this is one of the ways. Maybe some other ways out there, but this is a pretty sure far away because uh, the little smart light on it is messing up. So I've taken the leads that were on the transformer, taken them off, as you can see. Okay, there you go. Now I'm going to turn the sign back on and see my transformer is still messing up. See that little light right there? So, uh, it's, we got a bad transformer. All right, Tito is replacing the bad transformer. He's gonna make a whip to put on here. That's what he's doing right now. Most of these new transformers are post specific, so you wanna put your neutral in the right spot, your hot or your lead line load line in the right spot okay we've got our transformer back in here this is a GFI the switch is right back over here you press that in little black switch right over there press that in for a couple seconds and it puts it in uh, uh, test mode so it doesn't sort itself out see that Can you see that spark that means that's a good transformer that's our canal so my transformer is working so now I can hook up my leads. Of course, I'll turn it off first, right here. And we'll hook up our leads, and we probably have a working sign. Okay, we're gonna test one more transformer. This is an old school transformer that doesn't have a GFI protection on it. So here's how we're gonna do it. Just like we did the other ones, except there's no button to switch. They're always putting out power, now watch this. See that arc? This is a smaller transformer, so the arc's not as big. As you can 
definitely see that. So that's telling you that this transformer, neon transformer is putting out power. So it's a good transformer. That is how you test a neon transformer. Sometimes you'll see that one leg is dead and the other is fine. Right now you would not want to touch that. I think this is a 6,000, so it's putting out 3,000 volts right here at 30 milliamps and 3,000 volts right there at 30 milliamps. That's what makes a 6,000 volt transformer. Peter's checking the other letters on the side, over the side of the wall. Alright, friends, we got that uh, Me Casino sign working. So, it was a bad transformer and I showed you how to test the transformer. Uh, so there you go, Me Casino is back up and running 100%. That's the way we like it. Well, we're waiting on parts for the van and to fix the rest of the sign. So it definitely benefits of uh, working at a restaurant that's open. Good food in there, that's from Me Casino. So if you're out and about on Preston Road, just north of George Bush, a couple of miles, you need to stop into the Me Casino and tell them the sign shop sent you. This is Kevin, and you're watching the sign shop.